Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's workout we're going to do a total body toning workout and these are our cardio and strength moves. So we've got a good mix of cardio today with our strength or toning exercises. So I'm going to be using a light pair of dumbbells. I'm actually going to be using a selection of weights, my pink one kilogram dumbbells and my blue three kilogram dumbbell. Some of the exercises you'll probably find you might get away with a little bit more weight. Okay, let's get warmed up. Just gently pressing the heel into the floor here. Slight bend in the knee and bringing in the arms into a hammer curl position. Okay, so we're working for intervals today of 10 seconds rest, 50 seconds of work. And as always, you can reduce the work time if you feel it's a little bit too intense for you. So you can do 40 seconds of work and that means you get a 20 second rest period. Okay. Now let's bring the arms across the body. Start gently introducing some mobility for the shoulders and the chest. That's it. And of course, it'll also bring the heart rate up for you. you can move off the spot. Good. Nice big deep breaths. So anytime you're going to lift weights, particularly if you're going to lift weights above the head as well, it's really important that you get those shoulders mobile. Go and get some blood circulating around to the shoulder joint as well as the lower body. Okay, now up in the air, punch, punch, good. Move across the room, use up the space there. If you have it, use it up. Give that ceiling a good punch, punch, that's it. Long arms by the ears, abs engaged, and get your breathing going now. Big exaggerated breaths in and breathing it all out. Good, now let's rest out those arms. We change up the legs into a march. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so exaggerated march here. Knees up, watch your back. Don't hyperextend or lean back too far. Imagine that pole or that sweeping brush or broomstick down your back here, keeping you nice and tall and erect. That's it, good. If you can't bring your knees up this high, down here is perfect, okay? And again, hammer curling those arms, but this time just exaggerating the move to get that heart rate to come up a little bit more for you. That's it, good. Now chest press, push away, push, push. Again, we're hitting that shoulder joint, getting it ready for lifting weights. That's it, good. Driving those knees up, slow it down if you have to, if you feel this pace is a little bit too fast for the warm up slow it down or and that goes for the workout too okay just work in your own fitness range their own fitness levels good push away so we have 25 moves this is a no repeat workout so I'm gonna get that brain as usual with the no repeats the brain has to work a little bit harder too good so give me all your effort your best effort because you don't have to repeat any of these exercises today Resting those arms, driving those knees up. Let's go out wide now. Get a bit more hip flexor, of course, because we're raising the knee up. Put in a bit more inner thigh now too. That's it, good. Lift, lift, lift. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Now hold the legs out wide. Give me a little sit into your seat. Tailbone to the floor. Press the weight into your heels. Good, squeeze out your glutes, squeeze, squeeze. We do have a dumbbell swing coming today, so let's get those glutes woken up and ready for what's coming. Let's move 24, it's right down to the last, second last exercise. Good, squeeze out those glutes. Now let's push the arms back, push back, that's it, good. Keep breathing for me, don't hold your breath. Great work. And curling those arms up, that's it, great. Should be feeling warm now, body's ready to go. Now I want you to hold your legs out wide. We're going to do our reaching across. So tap out the floor, that's it, good. Now punch out that ceiling, give me some power in those punches. That's it, we've got a few punching exercises coming today. Now, if you don't have dumbbells, don't worry, you can still do this workout. Come on in and join me. you 
you're still going to get a great workout that's it push across drive that's it punch 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 tap out that floor good ten to go nine eight seven six five four three two now into some hamstrings curl your heel to your bum your bum that's it kick drive those arms back behind you let's rotate the palms and get those uh, posture muscles done as well good get those warmed up elbows back behind you good now kick out your bottom we've got some curls coming today hamstring curls so we'll warm them up now nice and gently that's it good work driving those arms back much doing great now let's rest the hands and count out the legs we've got six five four three two hold your legs wide and up and up squatting down in the middle let's reach up reach little seat in the middle tap out your toe as you go to the side and the upper half we're keeping it in motion and keeping those joints nice and warm that's it engage your tummy now that's it pull your belly button in towards your spine good work reach across reach reach good ten to go nine eight seven six five four three two and one circle the arms nice big circumduction of the shoulder your upper half should be feeling very warm now at this stage good now as always you can make your circle smaller for whatever reason just say you have an injury you don't have the mobility just make the circle smaller now let's go the opposite way but keep that chest upright for me it's a common mistake to let the chest fall forward once the arms come forward but you've got to try and fight that use your tummy engage your core good four three two and one i want you to go into a little march just to keep the heart rate up and i'm going to show you the first exercise so what we're going to do is you can get your dumbbells and march with them if you're using them we are going to do a knee raise and shoulder press into a mini squat so knee up shoulder mini squat okay and we're going to stay up one side and we work the other side uh, second exercise right 10 seconds to get going all right enjoy your workout 25 moves coming up okay abs engaged get ready knee shoulder sit down that's it good reach up to the ceiling those shoulders are nice and warm now you warmed them up without the weights okay so now we add a little bit of resistance and reach good reach up sit down and reach and reach now take note of what leg you're working for your 50 seconds or 40 if you're choosing to have more rest because we have to switch over now for exercise number two that's it good tuck in that elbow there both those elbows keep them nice and close to your body just protect your elbow joint a couple of seconds to go now getting that heart rate up right from exercise number one good right little break Keep the feet moving. Opposite leg, now opposite arm. Okay, so, so knee raise and shoulder and then squat. Good. Little squat, up. Into a squat. Raise your arm, raise your leg. Sit down into your seat. Good. Keep breathing. That's it lift up good sit down nice bouncy move here great for the muscles getting that elasticity or that bounce into the muscle sit down reach good about 10 seconds left reach up good and down you don't have to squat deeply little mini squat will do fine there okay all right now we have some leg kickouts coming next 
Now, if you want to, you can rest the arms if they're tired after the first two, or you can bring them in if you want to and reach for your toe. So kick, kick down low if uh, kicking high is too much for you, okay, or it's knocking your balance, stay down low. Or you can bring them up high, really feel those hamstrings, and you can punch out, punch out. That's it, good. Don't lean back if you're punching out here. Watch your lower back. Nice tall spine, good. Punch, punch, good work. Next move, we have some step backs and a tricep kickback. That's it, good. So we're gonna really, really be precise working the tricep muscle next. We're gonna keep the heart rate up by keeping the legs moving. Just there now, good. I'll show you quickly a step back, okay? It's just a modified back lunge and of course your tricep kickback. All right, let's go. Get the legs going first. Keep your heel up as always. Tuck those elbows into your little pockets there in your rib, at your ribs. Good. And kick back. Now you notice here it's the lower part of the arm that's doing the moving and the upper arm is very stationary. Good. Working the triceps, working the heart and lungs at the same time. That's it. We're getting a full body workout here. If you're short on time, it's a great way to train. Kick back, that's it. You'll be feeling the triceps contracting there. Good. Now we've got a leg curl next, so alternating the legs and shoulder press. We're bringing the shoulders back in any second now. Good, okay. So you know your leg curl, we warmed, your, warmed up your legs in the, sorry, their hamstrings in the warm up. So get those going. If you want, now you don't, you can leave out that rest altogether and come in with me. Good. Now, shoulders up and down. I want you to punch the ceiling. You can make the move, short range of mo motion if you want, partial reps, or you can make it big, or you can do two. You can work between the two. Good, because you've got 50 seconds to work with. That's a lot of time. You can mix it up for your body. That's it, good. Punch, punch. Good work, come on, keep going. We will be working the shoulders the next exercise, but it's a new move and the weights, I wouldn't particularly say they go above the head. So, good, so they'll have somewhat of a rest. We're gonna just march it out for the next move. Hold the weights up in front like this, and then you're gonna rotate the weights down. Okay, so let's start here, like a W, and then rotate the weights. Now you're just keeping the legs moving to keep your heart rate elevated, but nothing too intense with the legs, okay? Let them work away themselves. Focus on the upper half, W, upside down, okay? So it's a W, upside down. You may ask, what am I doing here? You're really working on your little rotator cuff muscles in around your shoulder area. Okay, they're small muscles, often forgotten about. Really, really should, we should spend time on these too. That's it, about 10 seconds left. And up. Good. We have a squat coming up next now, a little knee raise and squat. So we're just gonna sit down into a little seat, knee raise, sit, knee raise. And you can leave the weights in front here and gobble it, just to add a bit of resistance here, like a weighted vest. That's it, up, sit down, up, good, lift. This is another one of those bouncy type moves here where you're using the elasticity of the muscle and it'll make you feel a little bit breathless. That's it, lift. Good, up, down, lift, dumbbell snatch coming next, one side, and then we do the other side, the following move, and I'm gonna go up a little bit in my weight for that one. That's just one of these exercises, a major hip extension. You're working the big glute muscles next, so you might get away with a little bit of heavier weight if you have one. Good, if not, stick to your weights there. Okay, 
open up those legs a little bit wider maybe shoulder distance opposite hand out and up above your head okay good now i want you to really send those hips forward like a dumbbell or kettlebell swing squeeze out your glutes squeeze long arm by the ear that's it good don't let that weight go past your ear and make sure you're not hyperextending or leaning back too far there good power in the hips here now this is a powerful hip extension exercise good you're really using your glutes and your hamstrings here good reach up less than 10 seconds and we'll switch around lift up good work using those abs well done okay now other sides coming now you can go straight away if you'd like a little bit more time okay get those legs ready okay reach up good lift up that's it squeeze out your glutes don't forget that little squeeze as the weight comes up over your head good now if you can't lift weight above your head you just come up here like a front raise here in front of your face okay lift good work that's it you're doing a great job lift up use the other hand for balance good that's it. keep going to hear that beeper you have about 10 seconds left keep good form for me now nice straight spine good nearly there okay this is it well done all right now back to a lighter weight next one's quite challenging even though the body is going to be working isometrically we're just going to do a little march and hold the weights above our head now after the shoulders being worked this is going to be quite tough okay now if you get tired you can rest the weights down here and come back in when you're ready give yourself about five or six seconds and come back in when you're ready don't hyperextend your back again keep that spine straight always remember that broomstick or that pole down your back good now i'm going to ask you to try and keep your arms nice and long by the earlobes which generally they start to bend as you fatigue but do your best that's where you need the rest good just keep the legs moving in a marching position keep it simple good work we've only about five seconds left come on hang in there okay good work very basic exercise but very effective next time we're just going to step across the room we're going to add in some arms so get into your position there at the side step across and we're going to punch out but i'm going to give your arms a bit of an extra rest here okay as soon as we get over here we'll start now punch 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 good punch and punch you might have to speed up the legs a little bit now to stay coordinated with the upper half good work watch your back here now keep careful particularly if you're using weights punching out that's it good work keep breathing for me let's hear those nice big exaggerated breaths in and out fill up those lungs good 10 seconds left this is tough shoulders are feeling the burn good okay let's rest next we have three side steps and we are going to punch out the air and then we're going to quickly change to the other side okay and then i promise you we'll have a break for the shoulders okay let's go one two three other side one two three at least we're changing here it's not a continuous shoulder movement good two three good one two three great punch for two three and again one two three one two three good step it out for three punch for three switch around good right over stretch out that trunk for me this is great mobility for the upper half and of course the lower half come on let's finish out one two and three good that was nice we finished out 
got both sides worked evenly now we've got sumo a sumo squat so no shoulders now you'd be glad to hear hold the weights out in front and we're going to go into a sumo calf raise sumo calf raise sumo is just a very wide squat where the toes point out very wide to the side hips or tailbone to the floor good now keep your chest upright and the good thing about holding weights out in front like this is it does encourage you to keep your chest upright good it doesn't feel right falling on top of a pair of dumbbells nice little cue there for you that's it and squeeze out those calf muscles squeeze good up on your toes x punches next more punches i'm glad we had the break for the arms here with this one that's it one more and calves okay right so we are just going to x the legs as the move says just a modified curtsy lunge and then we're just going to punch and punch and you can go up high if you like good and punch punch and you can work down low and it's good to actually work in different ranges here up high down low because you're hitting different parts of your shoulders there good your chest punch punch good and down and down down bring it back up good we have some seal jacks ne now next so your arms are going to be coming out like a clapping motion and then we are going to put it that for four count to four and then we're going to reach up to the sky so we're coming back in with those arms coming up over the head so you know a jump jack is the leg out to the side a seal jack is the arms out in front and then shoulder press okay let's go together so one so we get the arms as well one two three four now up over your head one legs are doing the same thing three four and front for two three four and over your head one two three four out in front one two three four and shoulder press for two three four good chest for two three four one come on i'm feeling the burn too that's it good we'll all sweat together three four and finish with the shoulder for two three and four good work now we have our narrow squat i love this exercise so you're just going into a narrow squat the legs are together bicep curl hammer curl really shoulder press okay let's go sit down curl it up over the head sit your hips back curl it over the head now you stick your hips out behind you your bottom good now keep the head now held high you're not looking at the floor you're keeping your spine straight okay keep your spine straight no rounding of the, the the lower back there your lumbar spine good concentrate here on this one so it's three moves in one again it's another one where you probably get away with a bit heavier weight that's it because you're using a lot of muscle groups just the shoulders might struggle a little bit with the heavier weight though and finish out here okay great well done let's move on to move 17 now we've got some calf raises bicep curls okay you can join me now if you want that's it there's your work beep come on in if you're going to do the full 50 seconds so again more calf raising myself up on my toes curling those weights good now tuck those elbows in and i want you to really contract your biceps there as as well as contracting your calf muscle good you'll probably feel the calf burn quicker than the bicep but i don't know what it is about those muscle groups they, they fatigue very quickly that's it good and bring those dumbbells up towards your shoulders got those elbows tucked in for me that's it keep your elbows safe it curl got some heel digs and arm circles coming next no stress on the shoulders in the next move so don't worry 
So we're going to dig in the heel, nice and gentle, slight bend in the knee, and then you're going to circle those arms. So again, we are bringing in some rotation for those little tiny shoulder muscles. That's it, good, those rotate your cuff. That's it, good. Looks a bit like a bit of a strange exercise, but it's very effective. Keep the weights close to your body, but try not to bump your leg there like that. <laughs> okay, circle, 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 that's it, good. And it works really well with a light pair of weights. It's not something I'd probably do with heavy, heavy weights. If you want to go heavier, you'd probably have to keep the legs still. That's it, good. Keep the legs stationary. But we're doing cardio and strength, so we're keeping the lower body working too. That's it, good. Okay, well done. Now we have a one side leg curl, and we're just gonna pull the arm down, pull the arm back, really, like in a back row, okay? Then we do the other side. Okay, let's go. Curl, pull the arm back. Just hold the other weight out in front of your tummy there. Good, watch your posture here. Don't sink into it. Keep your spine long and straight. That's it, kick your bum. Pull the elbow back as you kick your bottom. You're gonna feel the stationary leg more than anything. Good. Pull back, pull back. That's it, come on, you can do it. You're doing a great job here. You're feeling the hamstring. I'm feeling a bit of a hamstring coming in now. 10 seconds left. Stay with it, come on, you can do it. Kick and pull. Tuck in that arm there, don't let it wander out. Okay, we leave it at that. Other side. Okay, let's get ready. Let's kick the bum first, kick and kick. Now, row, row your arm, that's it. Use the other weight, either up here or use it for balance, whatever you like. You might find this challenges the balance a little bit, all right. Good, kick, kick. This is a tough move. Keep that elbow now tucked in. That's it, good. Pull back, pull back, good work. How are you getting on? <laughs> I know it's a tough one. I'm feeling that stationary leg. Good work. 10 seconds. You can have a little rest if you need to there. Good. Just there. Three seconds, two seconds. Hand time. Well done. Footballers run next. Now you can put your weights down for this one. If you don't want to, this is your footballers run. Okay, again, I like the weights. They encourage me to keep my chest up. You can get down deeper if you want to. Now, of course, you can step this if you don't want to do any little hops, but the impact is still very low here. But step it if you want to. That's it, good. Come on, you can do it. Get those hips down a little lower if you can. Come on, push yourself a little bit. That's it, you're doing it. Great job, chest up, hips down. Think about your tailbone going to the floor but your chest stays upright. That's it, come on. Less than 10 seconds. Good, just there now. There you go, well done. Now I'll quickly show you the next one. Leg, X leg behind you and we're gonna punch out, okay? And then we do the other leg next, after this move. Punch out, X, punch, come on, give me some power in those punches, punch out. X leg, punch, punch, good work. Punch it out. That's it, give me a nice strong punch there. Now again, this is a modified curtsy lunge. If you want, you can take it into a full curtsy, come up and punch, full curtsy, come up and punch. That's it, you won't get as many reps in. It's a little bit of a slower move, but the option is there. Good. You can mix between the two. You can always mix between the two if you want to progress your workouts a little bit. Good, punch it out. Good work, okay, now we have the other side to do. That's it, 
keep the heart rate up by a little doing a little march okay get ready pick the right leg now x punch x and punch punch now if you feel like you want to speed up and really bring that heart rate up a little bit you go for that watch your elbow here keep a slight bend as you punch out okay slight bend in the elbow don't lock it out completely that's it good we have two moves left after this one dumbbell swing is next i'm going to go up to that blue weight again my three kilogram because again it's like a big hip extension exercise just like the snatch punch out good punch punch good 10 seconds or less Come on, keep going that's it good we've got two big exercises coming up for the glutes next good work okay now quickly change over all right so you know your dumbbell swing if you've been doing my workouts for a while now very very powerful hip move so sit your hips back squeeze bring those hips forward for me little snap out of the knees working those hamstrings don't lean back like this okay just let the weights come up to around belly button height or a little higher good press the weight into your heels it. squeeze out that rear squeeze it squeeze good and you've got a lot of time to focus on good form here squeeze it out that's it breathe the breathing actually helps you to remember to clench your bum cheeks that's it few seconds left then we're into a squat and upright row and then we're finished good well we will have to do our cool down i hope you do spend some time on your cool downs okay now i'm going to go down here a little uh, lighter so open up those legs about shoulder distance roll those uh, shoulders back there behind you and we are going to squat and upright row upright row keep that chest up for me now just remember there's a wall in front of you and if you lean too far forward you're going to hit the wall with your face so just use some imagery there to keep that chest up for me tailbone to the floor and weight into your heels good that's it sit down reach up good last move here last few seconds of our workout today i hope you're feeling good feeling energized feeling sweaty <laughs> good and those muscles are feeling like they've done some work that's it a couple of seconds we might get one more and well done you made it through good let's switch off our little beepers great work what a brilliant 25 minute workout plus a six minute warm-up i'm sure it's around six minutes so we've got over 30 minutes let's just gradually bring that heart rate down i want to say a big thank you for working out with me today and if you liked the video i'd appreciate it a thumbs up because the more thumbs up we get here the more we get pushed out to other women who would like to keep fit like yourselves now like i say i'll link up a playlist a cool down playlist in the description box below this video it's there for your convenience don't forget to spend a few minutes cooling down particularly when you've been a sweat on your skin i think that's the best time to cool down but i know not everybody has that time just find a time that works for you Thank you so much for joining me today. I loved having you, your company here with me and I will see you back here very soon. Bye bye.